So now I request Prime Minister candidate to make our opening statement. Batch number 25. Well, I don't know about wiping half the universe, but if you start watching the old hyped up movie Avengers Endgame, at this very moment, by the time Thanos snaps his fingers, well, he might not have the stones, but 56 people would still be dead on Indian roads, along with 183 injured in those road accidents. Because we live in a country where the number of lives and livelihoods detained by road accidents in just a stretch of four years is more than twice the number of casualties of the South Vietnamese war that spanned over for 20 years. We live in a country where attending a boost party overlays the life of a two-year-old brawling in an emergency vehicle in the city of Bangalore. A country that accounts for 2% of verge vehicles, but is delinquent for 12% of the total accidents. This is an issue that deserves the time of the day, and that is exactly what the government did. Taking a bite from penalties imposed in countries with the most effective transportation system, such as Sweden and Monaco, the government decided to increase the concern of monetary loss among those who break the very rules which determine the probability of them being alive at the end of the shortest possible road trip. Well, what puts us down in the mouth is that 72% of the lives lost in these casualties are of those wage earners that perch the present and the future of the country, the youth. That part of population on which the government is investing billions of taxpayers rupees is losing their life for nothing but unchecked irresponsible behavior. So you tell me whether a youngster not wearing a helmet should be charged a thousand rupees or should we lay waste to the money that is invested in him. The money that comes out of your pocket, not his. Or should I talk about those unheeding dipsomaniacs who drive under the influence of alcohol, wagering their own life as well as the life of every other person who's walking or driving on that street? So should they only be liable to pay after they exterminate someone? Or should they be paying for playing such a gamble as well? Not to mention those narcissistic idiots who are so much wrapped up around them th themselves that they mimic as if waiting on a red light for barely one minute is going to cost their Fortune 500 company a billion dollar deal. See, this is of paramount significance that these defying beings who fly in the face of the law must be disciplined by any means possible. Sam Dam Dand Bhed. Thank you.